Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. It's That Farm Kid with my first video of my series, Met of the Week. I'll post one of these every Friday, about five minutes in length. I'll make sure it's quick and concise just for review for you all. I'll definitely pick a brand of medication every week, but I am more than welcome to take suggestions as to medications that we'd all like to learn about and make a quick video on them. So without further ado, let's get started. The medication I picked for this week is Mobic. The generic is Meloxicam. This medication exists as an anolic acid derivative, otherwise known as your oxycams. Similar medications within this class, we have pyroxicam or lornoxicam. It's something that we can definitely see within all these is that oxicam ending. This medication exists as an NSAID or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. So we can see some antipyretic effects from it and some analgesic properties. Some adverse effects from this medication. There is an increased risk as well as with all other NSAIDs for that gastrointestinal toxicity. We also have a risk for increased bleeding. Some signs and symptoms of this uh, with an internal bleeding, some dark or tarry stools might be a sign. Otherwise, bruising around the body or bleeding gums when brushing your teeth. Meloxicam in specific does have fewer gastrointestinal side effects, but it is an insect that's definitely something to keep in mind. Some contraindications for this medication. It is a pregnancy category C, so it should not be taken within the third trimester of pregnancy. It does have an increased risk of cardiac events, unlike aspirin, which is an NSAID, so it should be avoided for those that have had a history of stroke or myocardial infarction. As I mentioned about that gastrointestinal bleeding, it should be avoided with those that have been affected by peptic ulcers and then those that suffer with IBS. So how does meloxicam work? Meloxicam inhibits the enzyme COX-2, otherwise known as cyclooxygenase. It also has some properties on COX-1, but it favorably inhibits that COX-2 enzyme. This enzyme is responsible for the synthesis of prostaglandins, so this is definitely a mediator of inflammation. We have urachidonic acid, which converts into prostaglandin H2. This is due in part to the help of that enzyme COX-2, but because we have meloxicam, it inhibits that enzyme, thus decreases inflammation, swelling, etc. Meloxicam is available in 7.5 milligrams and a 15 milligram dose, where 15 milligrams is the maximum dosage every day. 7.5 can be taken every day to twice daily. It has an onset of about 30 to 60 minutes. For the half-life of about 20 hours. Lastly, I'll discuss some counseling points with your patient. Because we did mention that it is hard on the stomach, it's important that this medication is taken with food or at least eight ounces of milk. As I mentioned, with that half-life of about 20 hours, this is taken around the same time every day. Studies show that this medication works better when it's taken consistently, not just as needed to help overall inflammation decrease. Another very important thing to mention to your patients is because we do have those over-the-counter NSAIDs that are within the same family of these medications, uh, we should definitely avoid naproxen or ibuprofen an adjunct to this medication. However, it is okay to take Tylenol. All things considered, we have Meloxicam, or brand name is Mobic. It is available on a 7.5 and 15 milligram dose, where 15 milligrams is the max dose taken every day. It is an NSAID, so it does have antipyretic and analgesic effects. However, it does have that increased concentration within the synovial fluid, so it does have a stronger efficacy towards arthritic pain. Adverse effects similar to your over-the-counter naproxen, ibuprofen, or prescription diclofenac, and the methicin would be that gastrointestinal toxicity. 
increased bleeding, some signs of that would be dark or tarry stools, or even uh, bruising or bleeding gums. Contraindication should not be taken within that third trimester of pregnancy. There's an increased risk of cardiac events. It functions as a COX-2 enzyme inhibitor, therefore it prevents the conversion of arachidonic acid into that prostaglandin. Counseling points, you should have that medication with food taken about the same time every day due to the about 20 hour half-life and to avoid over-the-counter NSAIDs, but Tylenol is okay to take with this medication. That's all for today, you guys. I will post a new video next Friday as well as a video I'm working on about my PharmD interview. Thank you guys so much for watching and definitely let me know if you have any medications that you wanna see next.